The way God made things is that everything is based upon the law of attraction. What is going on in our soul, not in our head, remember, but it's our emotions. So a lot of people say to me, like, oh, you know, I had a spirit come last night and I didn't want them there and I was saying to God, take them away, but, but God wasn't taking it away and it stayed there and what can I do to control this spirit? The answer is, why do you want to control the spirit in the first place? Why do you want to control another person? Second answer is, there must be an emotion in me that invited that spirit into my life. Right? So you have total control of what's going on inside of you emotionally. And this is where most people get off the track because they think the control is here and not here. I can understand that you attract on your physical level. And the but, spirit level too. But yeah, that's, that's interesting that yeah. you can feel a certain way and then attract from, from the spirit, page. yeah, yep, yep. Because remember, they're just people. <coughs> they're just people. They, and they haven't moved on to then a higher realm or a higher realm. Well, and they haven't because of their emotional condition. That's right. Remember that progressing from one realm to another realm is all about how much love you have in your soul. So if you don't, if you pass without hardly any love in your soul, or none at all, or barely any, yeah. you're going to pass into a state where you want to harm others and when you want to influence others and you want to damage others and you want to hurt others even. Like how many of you have had emotions in, in your own processing where you feel like you would like to have hurt somebody? Yeah, like we need to be honest, right? So, so imagine that, if you'd passed over with that emotion and you're now invisible, Think about it, it gives you a lot of scope for operation. <laughs> well, you just imagine for a moment if you were now invisible, just invisible. Everyone around you isn't, and you are invisible. And you can see, yeah, he's got that emotion. Oh, I just saw what he did behind the door over there. Hmm, I can use that, right? Oh, I just see, you know, how many things would you now know about people that you didn't know before? Lots of things, right? Now, if you had a feeling in your heart that you want to use it for your own advantage, wouldn't you choose to do that? And that's why they choose to do it. We can stop it by only releasing the emotion that causes that attraction. Yes. This is why many people who have been, for instance, uh, sexually abused, often report that while the people who were sexually abusing them were abusing them, they saw spirits around them abusing them as well. Because when we get into states like that, when we get into states where we're not loving, we also attract spirits who are wanting the same thing. And the whole thing mixes together to create a certain atmosphere. The same applies in a positive way. Like, when we get together with a hundred people who want to work on their soul and who want to look at truths, what happens then? All of the spirits who are negative, they take one look at the bunch of us and they say, oh, don't think we're going to influence them much today, right? So they go off somewhere else. And, and what happens instead is the ones who uh, want to help you progress at the soul level, they are attracted to you. So the same thing happens on a positive way. The problem is at the moment though, more and more people are getting to know about the soul, more and more people are getting to know about how to change themselves. Now, changing yourself is going to result in changing the world, right? Yeah. So what will these spirits who don't want the world changing feel? What do they want? They are, they're afraid, right? And many of them in the states of deep rage or anger about that. Well, you imagine, you've been drinking for 50 years through somebody on earth, and all of a sudden, that somebody talks to you, and they realise they've got a spirit attachment, and they realise it's because of the grief in them. And they decide, oh, I think I'll stop drinking and I'll feel this grief. What does the spirit feel? He goes, no, 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 no. I don't want you to stop drinking. Right? And so what will he do? <coughs> he will try to influence you to drink, won't he not? Wouldn't you? If that's how you felt. Right? 